We don't need to be teleporting to do that now. No. But I would like to. Because I... You know what? Full Metal Professor is hilarious. <laughs> but... Uh, I want to see what the M100 helmet looks like. I want to like, see what any of the... I'm going to be honest. Shulk looks, looks like. pretty great. Mm -hmm. And it's like... I, I will gladly turn my entire team into uh, some sweet, sexy robots if I can... It, if I can get the opportunity. Some of them looked ridiculous, though. I can't wait now, if to they, have... If they have full helmets, that would look cool. Yeah, and Maybe. that's what I was thinking. Satoral Marsh, Nopon Merchant. Gotcha. Oh, we gotta murder these things. Get behind you. Yes. Die. Ah, people are mentioning the clipping. Black clipping. Yes, they do definitely do clip through themselves. Those arm blades, especially on Shulk's armor, are at fault. They cut through his thighs and everything all the time. There aren't any pictures of the full set on the internet yet, people say. Really? Let's see. Well, as soon as I find a landmark. Because you have everything I... for Shulk except the helmet, correct? Yes. And you have everything for Ryan as well, with the exception of the helmet. Well, remember, uh, the way it works is uh, all you have to do is get the skin once. So it's not unlocking it per character. It's that we just have to find one M100 piece, and then we're good. Uh, so yeah, as, as soon as I find the next landmark, we'll quick warp... It would be sad if we never saw their faces again, though. I wonder uh, if it's going to be one of those things where, in cutscenes, the helmets will come off, but... I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. hmm. We'll see what it looks like. Hey, got that quest done. There we go! Really? Time is of the essence. Oh. Melly is going to get... Apparently, time is of the essence. We can't leave. Precisely. You can't... You can't go purchasing helmets I wanted to when... become robot people. Melia is in danger. Robot... She has an assassin. People. An assassin set on slaying her in the name of her queen. I was going to say seeking to deprive her of life. But that would... That would have been a little cheesy. Yeah, look at that. The Minato just... Chew through things? Mm -hmm. Yep. Also gave Shulk haste, which is making a nice difference. Well, we need three Rufus control units for a secret club card. A secret club? Yes, so. Hmm. What kind of club? A I secret hope... variety. I hope they don't mean some kind of high entia nightclub. Oh, baby. We're getting some good loot. Uh, let's see. Looks like you can climb up. Does it want me to go up or down? It wants me to go up. Well, yeah. But we fell down that very long chute. Yeah, right but into there might the have pool. been like another path. Also, mm -hmm. I don't have my... Well, yeah, it's right up there. I remember this being harder back in the day. Okay, so... I think, despite my reservations, I will probably continue to do side quests. Mm -hmm. So that I can curb stop things into oblivion. That's what comes from being at or over level. I am. And you're I'm five level. levels over level. It's not incredible, but it makes a difference. Yep. I, it lets me just stack... Uh... Let's me stack three tanks. Well, not tanks. 
I guess, one DPS and two tanks. Sort of DPS? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these guys can, can be broken. Yeah, fine. Now, do the mecha suits look anything like the mecha that were in the X game? Uh, Are they the same color and aesthetic? Or? No, the I'm gonna say there were definitely some like goofy ones in in Xenoblade Chronicles X, but I would say that these are a little bit more high sci-fi. At uh, least Shulks. Shulks is pretty. That's interesting. There's a staircase and a climb spot. Maybe you should see what the climb spot goes to. Oh. Resources. Uh, I'll do it. Just so I might not have to come back. Mm hmm. Yeah, you don't know what those are going to be. Yeah, you can get enough passive healing uh, going to not need a healer. Yeah, I'm curious about that. I mean, realistically, at this point, we could probably actually just have Riki in the party. Uh, no Sharla? Uh. It depends, though. There are some did protracted... you actually collect that? Yeah, I did. Okay. I was a little worried there. Yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. You pass the test. Because I feel like I could have a Melia Shulk. someone else party mm -hmm. maybe Oh, time to find out if we can do this without Sharla. Mm-hmm. Oh, can I can I save real quick? Nope. Hmm. It looks like you can get Melia in too. Interesting. Oh. That's fun. You teleported her away. That's interesting. Hmm? So you're facing Tyria, but there's also the Solidum Telethia. I wonder if there's a better strategy to destroy one first or the other. It looks like I have no choice but to currently fight. The Telethia. Mm-hmm. I like the look of this one. Once again, reminds me of a manta ray, but there's a little bit more to the front of it. Almost half humanoid, but then there's also some fish-like aspects to it. Oh, she's doing like a te telepathic command. Tyria is. Mm -hmm. So then you do want to kill her first? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. boss battle like this, wouldn't it be interesting in the game if whomever you destroy first impacts the outcome of the battle? Maybe? Because imagine if the evil 
assassin is destroyed and the Telethia is pacified because of that. Or if you defeat the Telethia first, then something happens with its magic that might harm everyone in the room or Melia or... I don't know. Just interesting to think of different consequences. Now, Telethi is a little bit below half. What's Tyria at? She's she still alive. She's over half. Frustratingly enough, I've got Shulk in the party. He ain't using his Monado tech. Really? Yeah, not the good stuff. Which is a bit of an issue. Attention seat. Let's see. Here's heal shot. Got down to a third. Slam bodily. That's interesting. Looks like the other two are focusing on Tyria. And that's actually getting her down a bit more. Yep. It's definitely a lot harder without the uh Without whom or what? Without Charlotte to just heal us up. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't have her kick. There's a kick you can get for Melia. Oh. Uh, that can actually force a knockdown. And I have it, but I guess I forgot to equip it. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh, Telethi is so close to getting down. Actually, the assassin. Both are. Yeah. I think I mostly just have to back off for a little while. Oh, you better watch out for rain or rain. Sorry. Yep. I always say rain, but it's rain. Yeah. Oh, flying bee? Yep. Yeah, this is kind of a weird battle of attrition. Okay. Well, the Salidum Telethia is almost done. And it's gone? Yeah, we killed it. Just evaporated. Interesting. Oof. Now she's going to be abusing him a little bit. Doesn't look like that does much to him, though. I'd still watch out. Yeah, I mean, she's going to do 189 to him. Like, I think we're That's good. Not much. I think this will take a little bit more refinement. I almost wonder if I'd actually be better off with uh, Dunban as my, like, de facto tank. But even then, I'm not entirely sure. Oh. Ah. It's not over! Telethia! Kill as many of them as you can! 
Keep clear. The Talavia is destroying itself. Almost bought it. Alvis, thank you. My pleasure, Shulk. Why did you come? The Monado gave me a warning that you were in danger. I'm just glad we made it. Hey, Shulk, whoever that was is gone. So, they escaped. Shulk. Everyone, I thank you. You saved me. Ricky, smiley, smiley! Millie, all safe! All thanks to Hero Born! That's not how I remember it, Cheese Ball. <laughs> oh, don't hold him! Don't hug it. Ah! No! <laughs> she died so young! <laughs> Why would you touch you that pig? <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes my report on events in the tomb. Hmm. So, there are forces working in the shadows. However, this is purely circumstantial. Nothing can be proven. Hmm. Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. Dedicated and devoted to the Bionis. The Order was dissolved under the rule of the Emperor Lumion. 47th successor to the throne, due to its extreme practices. Like puppet masters pulling the strings from the shadows. I believe their bloodline was lost to the ages. Her Highness the First Consort is currently residing in the Tower of Investigation. The Ministry of Investigation's judgment should be imminent. Well, that may not be enough. I myself must shine a light on the truth. Agreed. Mother. Melia. Your Majesty. You have returned unharmed from the tomb. The forefathers have spoken. But if it hadn't been for Shulk... Kallian has informed me of what happened. There is no reason to doubt your legitimacy to the throne. Believe in yourself, Crown Princess. Brother. Tomorrow will be the investiture ceremony. At the appointed time, you will become my successor. Be proud. I... I will. Melia, my child. I am overjoyed at how far you have come. You are truly worthy of the throne. Continue the legacy of your High Entia and Homs bloodline. You are the hope of Bionis. Ricky and friends help save Melly. Ricky very happy. We're all relieved. But something's still bothering me. What is it? Why was Melia chosen as the crown princess? Shouldn't Callian have been the one to ascend? And her foe in the tomb clearly opposed that decision. You have a point. Callian is more than a worthy candidate. What reason could they have for choosing Melia? And why would Callian go along with this? It's a mystery. Our apologies. His Majesty the Emperor summons you. Finally! He's gonna let us into Prison Island. Yeah. His Majesty awaits you in the audience chamber. He asks that you join him shortly. You're buying something? It's robot time. Robot time? Look, Professor Ryan. <laughs> it was funny for a bit. But. Oh, right. Not these That's guys. That's This guy. Gardas? Probably the Gardas helm, yeah.
Okay. Really? Oh. That's it? it well, that sucked. Oh. That so he gets sucks. a halo. She gets a helmet. High school helmet, almost. <laughs> yeah. He gets a unicorn horn. Oh my god. Alright. Time for Dunban to become the unicorn he always wanted to be. But the rest of his outfit looks hideous. You cannot possibly dress him up in that monstrosity. <laughs> that is no. That is a no. Look at the butt. Look at the crotch. Look at those thighs. Look at those high heels. Look at that weird swirly screw arm. Something is wrong. <laughs> There's so much to unpack here. <laughs> and all of it is confusing <laughs> and not good. No. Oh, boy. Let's look at Aerith. Uh, sure. Yeah, let's let's go load these guys up on some Aerith. Okay, equipment. I'm liking how it's turning out green. The main I've issue is I think we're missing the uh the, the Aerith. The top. Ooh, we never saw a Titan on here. Ooh. I mean, it looks cool. Titan but... looks pretty dang cool on him. I don't know. We can try Titan out on. We can't. Uh, we can't. We don't have the Titan. Uh. Or the. Aerith. I, we don't have. I the... would. I would just choose a one of the Hom Aerith tops that's green, because the it looks so pretty. This is way too bulky. Oh right. The reason why we didn't like this is because the weird. Also, what are those little screw things coming out of his cod piece? Excuse me. Okay, so I'll have to go and see if I can get an... Oh, that almost works. If it wasn't green... Take the top off. Let's do a different top. Done. No, no, not take it off. <laughs> take it all off. Because we could have his normal green. We could have... I mean, even the tribal top looked okay with that. This will do but here. A, the purple color scheme. We're no? Just, we're just going to go by the... Um, the the NTA one? Yeah. We should be able to buy it here. What? <laughs> what are you laughing about? Just <laughs> seeing chat's reactions to the uh, <laughs> to the horror that was uh -huh. done. <laughs> it does amuse me that at this point I'm just going like, there it is, Aerith armor. Skytop might get you a different, or I don't know. I think I already have some of these. Oh, she just doesn't know Starlight Kick yet. All right. Let's see if you've been doing the collections. Most of them, yeah. We're still missing some things, but that's okay. Wait, see, you only got the blue one. We need type oh, two. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where we get... I think we get type two from fighting stuff. So I guess we're going... Oh. So I'll just switch him over to type... Type 1. Yeah. Even though I like green on him more. Oh, well. Now you can put the blue sword with him. Yeah. Then you can have the moon blade. Luna Defender. Keep going back. Eh. All right. Fine. Let's let's get rid of Professor Ryan. What are we gonna put on him instead? 
No, I don't like that. I like his red armor or his red look. <laughs> what? Uh oh. Okay, you can try the rest of that just to see what it looks like. No. Oh, that's actually. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Try the <sighs> try the Aerith stuff. We'll do it for this cutscene. Professor Ryan. <laughs> that's really weird. There's something weird about that chest piece going into the waist. Oh, it does have the cool lights on it, but yeah. it just doesn't look like him. Now, I wouldn't mind seeing Shulk in that kind of armor. It actually looks nice. Ish? It looks like a wizard. It also looks like his forearms are have were got squished yeah oh gosh okay i'm just yeah i don't like that i'm gonna just change, change the top i'm just gonna change um why are you changing the arms no change the top or i see you don't like the bracers either oh, oh. those are cool there we go like the top's okay it was just that it really did look like somebody had just squeezed his forearms and everything went bad. Mm hmm. Whoa, those. Dang. Wings. No. Dang. No. <laughs> Woo Gross. Why? That is Why? shade mail bikini times. And that that's what her Titan type is? Oh, God. Boy, howdy. What is resort style? And oddly enough, that's more covering than many of the other pieces. <laughs> I think we're just going to have to keep with this this feathery look. Keep her silly hat. <laughs> the more wings I can stack on her, the better. Okay. Oh, oh what? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. He is He's magnificent. Like, I have become... A glorious godlike figure. Look at that. That butt. Can you change the, the gloves for his ear wings? There has to be something that looks cooler than that. Okay, so that just changes the fur color. That just changes like sleeves. Aww. Little bows. Oh. The furry um, tiger paws. Oh, actually, can you go back to the Ligar type 2? I like how that matches the blue. It does. Okay. Oh, we haven't seen him full robo. No, we haven't. You know, that I, the color's wrong, but it almost works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the little dragon wings. You can see him in full Titan, but my vote would be if we did the that look, we'd do the Legar type twos because of that periwinkle blue, which is really cute. Moment of truth. No. <laughs> All that glorious hair <laughs> stuffed under that. He's just something. No, looks he just becomes a wrong. cannonball. <laughs> He's just become a cannonball astronaut. <laughs> I like having his his floofy his floofy hair. Okay, go back with yeah. Aerith type for everything except Legar for the ears. Because I like the little armored look. Yeah, that's good. Let's see if we have a uh... something cool for the. Well, okay, that's that's a, I like the orange for that, but uh, what? There was one of the eagle ones that had a I'm just gonna do blue this. look. You like the yeah. fire dragon one? Kind of matches his hair. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, we don't have Melia back. No, we don't. I don't know. I like that we'll actually be able to see more of Riki's face. Oh, we haven't actually been up there yet. No. Whoops. 
<laughs> People are just doing the whole Kimmy. Like, he came in like a wrecking ball. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Hold up. You want to run there? I want to see what the old M100 set used to look like. Okay. Ricky wrecked me. Oh, I remember this. What? Oh, boy. It looked real bad. Like, I guess a lot of the stuff is kind of kept the same. Mm-hmm. But it looks better. The Dunban stuff made him look so dumb. This looks like a dead end. You were... You got lost fast. All right, give wait, me... Wait, is, there, is this the door right here? No, it's a teleporter. Yes. Yeah, so they used to have huge helmets in the M100. The guard. Please forgive me for keeping you. Only Shulk may proceed beyond this point. Shulk, forgive us for detaining you earlier. You and I are not of the same people. But this I must say. Thank you for helping Melia Antiqua, my daughter. It was no small feat. Not at all. I too must apologize for meddling in your customs. We should not have interfered. She is a lucky girl to have met such unselfish people. In the times to come, a ruler will need support from individuals like you. I hear you seek the Mechon. Yes. The Mechon devastated our homes, and we lost many loved ones. Revenge is your goal? It is. You are honest. I do not want to hide our true intentions. Our very existence is at stake. Unwavering, too. Shulk, you are the master of the Monado. But there is something that must be said. What is it? Long before our forefathers built this empire, two titans, the Bionis and the Maconis, fought a vicious battle. Is this known among Harms? Yes. It is told to us as children. The two fought and died, killing many creatures in the process. Their remains became our worlds, bringing forth new life on Bionis. That's how we were made. The Bionis shall awaken once again. Alvis told me the same thing. This is not just the vision of a seer. All of Machna knows. The Telethia are as old as the Bionis itself. And now, they disturb the Aether. That disturbance can only lead to one thing. But why is this happening now? This is an inscription left by our forefathers. It is written, Descendants of Antiqua, when the Aether cries, the Bionis awakes. Mistake not the signs, and heed the sword's return. Trap its power, and assure eternal prosperity. All life born on Bionis affects the Aether. The Mechon's assault is just the beginning. And these events were set in motion when you used the sword against them. We used it because we... Because you needed to. Without it, you could not survive. I cannot dispute this fact. I believe the inscription speaks of these very events with the Mechon. But if their assault continues, if more lives are lost, soon the Bionis will awake. And not only the High Entia, but all life will perish. Do you see, Shulk? You're talking about total extinction. Correct. Which is why the Mechon's invasion must be stopped. Then you'll help us. Your Majesty, we need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Will you permit us entry? What will you do there? I saw it in a vision. We will fight a faced Mechon. They must pay for what they did. Then, you will have seen him, too. 
On Prison Island, our forefathers sealed something away, just as they did to the Monado. All records have been lost, and there is now no way to know what it was. Is it connected to the awakening of the Bionis? I do not know, but our forefathers must have had good reason. We must trust their decision. Shulk, allow me some time to deliberate. Above all else, I will consider the safety of Bionis. You are our Bionis brethren. We will not ignore your plight. I... understand. This is not our homeland. If you decide not to let us go, I will accept your decision. I am sorry. It's... okay. One more thing. Yes? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. This is my humble request. It would be my honor. The Telethia are on the move. Yes. That fleshy fool will go for the Monado. What of the faces? Repairs to metal are complete. And Nemesis? Nemesis is... The Homs with the Monado. He has reached Erith Sea? Yes. Then there is only one place for them to go. Yet he will not dare unleash such power. <laughs> that sounds like Alvis, doesn't it? No matter. Bugs must still be exterminated. It is time to test our new toy. Commence the assault on Bionis. Can this be true? It will happen soon. I saw Melia. She was fighting a battle against a Mekon with a strange group of arms. Yes. That sword, could it be the... Could it possibly? And that location, was it... The vision is a sign. By your will, it can be changed. Hmm. For now, we must consider all things. Everything. The capital. And the lives of our people depend on it. Wow! What? Take a look at that! A high end to your air show! Bird people fly higher than not on birds! Oh. <laughs> they got some neat tricks. Shook! I think that's Melia up there. By the authority of our divine ancestors, I, Melia Antiqua, am honored to accept the responsibility of becoming your next benevolent ruler. Should I be deemed unworthy of this calling, or fail to protect the ancestors or the Bionis. I promise here and now to throw myself on the mercy of you, the people. Most majestic, 
That fragile girl in the forest is a distant memory. But which one is the real Melia? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. No, it's not like that. They're one and the same girl. I think. <laughs> and what did you see, Alvis? Oh, it's you. Don't play games. No need to be angry. I only wanted to analyze the boy. Which was the point, no? Hmm. I did not interfere with your ministerial affairs. In fact, you should be thanking me. I wonder if he feels the same. We have all the information we need. We know that such a Telethia cannot hurt them. You see? Nothing can befall him before he sees his dream fulfilled. Grand spanking you! Ah, nothing like an ether change and a new paint job. <laughs> We don't need her. Look at me. Look at me, goody two-shoes. Let's just see if you hold back the screams when his blade gets a taste of you. <laughs> I love a warm welcome. Let's settle this machine to machine. So they've got a new crown princess. Three cheers for Melia. Right, but we're still no closer to that murdering-faced Mechon. Once we reach Prison Island, we'll get our chance. I've seen us there. It must be true. Shulk, man. Maybe we can still persuade Big Wings. Melia's crown princess now. I reckon the Emperor might change his mind. Maybe. Rhine, the Emperor's request was clear. Give him time. There's more to this island than we know. Things are at play here that reach beyond our understanding. Dundon right. Ricky and friends visit Melly now. Hey, the adults are talking, Pops. Ricky want to see Melly. Ricky think Melly's sad too. She might like the distraction. All those stiff ceremonial duties. You decide, Shulk. Ricky say yes! Okay. Oh, Ricky was cute. But also, we should stop for the night. I just want to go get Melia so that I can adventure freely. Oh. If mm. that makes sense. Also, I think I'm going to put... I, I also want to put her in the armor. Both sets. Because we haven't had him up until now. Uh, I think I liked Ryan uh, in his red set. I think I liked Ryan and Shulk in their robo sets. I like Shulk when he, and what he's in currently. I kind of do. It's a little more muted than I like. Like, I, I actually really liked the bright, colorful, full robo. Uh-huh. Okay. Where is she? Oh, she's out here. But or also, not? wasn't I right about Alvis potentially being evil? 
I think that was his voice. His voice over the oh. mech on. Hmm? Oh, there's a separate the area. So I wonder if you ever tried Xenosaga. I, apart from a one boss fight that a friend foisted upon me, no. Maybe someday, but since I heard they're kind of, it was kind of legendarily unfinished. I don't know. It looks I, like the Mechon are already on their way. Yep. Oh yeah. So our next plot point is to go to Prison Island, and I'm going to want to get all the side quests done beforehand. Yeah. Definitely. What time is it for you guys? Just a little after one. We're yeah. just wrapping up. Probably should have stopped hours ago, but... like, It's one of those where like the proportion to from plot to side quests is like a three to one ratio, give or take. Wait, I kind of want to look at this stuff. Mm -hmm. so this is the highest over point. There. I gotta say, Prison Island looks cool, though I don't know if it matches this game. It's almost kind of Tim Burton-esque. Nah, it it looks like it's made of rock out of a completely different area. So this must be the actual home. Mm -hmm. The Imperial the, Palace. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty. The Imperial Villa, see? This is where they actually live and sleep. It's pretty. I like the trees. There's a symmetry to it. Oh, they're her wings. You came to see me. Ricky's friend, Millie! Oh, Millie look amazing before. Oh, Ricky's so proud. Really? It all happened so fast. What a stunning garden. The arrangements, the fountain. When the colony is up and running, can I steal some ideas? My late mother adored this place. Late mother? But I thought your mum was... Her Highness, the First Consort, is not my birth mother. Members of the Imperial family must take two wives. One Homs, one High Entia. My mother is the Second Consort. I am half Homs, half High Entia. Melia. Melia live here? Yes, Ricky. Since I was young, I cannot walk outside as you see me now. So this garden gives me much relief. What's wrong with how you look? Who cares if you're half Homs? You'll always be you. Their way of thinking differs from ours. Different ways. Different morals. So that's why you wear a mask in public? Yes. Shulk, in less than an hour there will be a banquet in the palace. I would like you all to come. Oh, Ricky's so hungry, he could even eat smelly Oruga. <laughs> There'll be plenty to eat. Finally, some decent grub. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. What's on the menu? Any high endier specials? Do not embarrass me at this dinner. Expectations lead to disappointment. We are talking about Ryan here. What? That's the last time I sit next to you, then. <laughs> I have much to prepare. I will have someone call for you later. We can't wait. <sighs> Is there something wrong? No. You are a funny one. Can't be. Shulk! It's the Emperor. Father! Another vision! Shulk, what did you see? On that tower. On Prison Island. <gasps> what does the siren mean? Mekon! They're coming! <gasps>
Report! Yes, sire. We received a report from our south station. Macon are approaching. Impossible! Kellyan, your sister's time has come. Your Majesty. There is only one course of action left. We will not waver from our destinies. Father! Kallion, take charge of the capital's defenses. I will go to Prison Island. Tell me, what happens to my father? He... It follows my last vision. We're on Prison Island. Metal Face and your father are... Prison Island? Why would father go there? No! I must go to the palace. I must stop him. I will go to the audience chamber. Wait, Melia. We're coming too. What are you doing? All side quests. Oh. All I need. Can all we I, end this? No, please? no, no. I, we're, I'm not actually going to do side quests. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could leave, and the answer was yes. Okay, so last thing. Now that go. Now that we got Melia. Uh, uh, we actually just do not have uh, spare helmets. Aerith type. Eh. It's a bit big. Yeah. Ligar type. Kind of cute steampunk. Machna type. Yeah. Uh, mm. It's I've a seen little worse. too tropical. Wait, what was that? This? Go back. It's like kind of weird. No, a little bit more. Oh, I see. It's just fabric. Yeah. Nah, not pink. Yeah. Not tiny little crowns. A bonnet. Oh. That's her regular outfit and the ceremonial mask. I don't know. I'm not really feeling any of these. What about beach type? Oh. Oh, it's pink. What's just ecru? Nothing? Yeah. Or no, it's just blue. All right. Well, she gets those. Using this. Whoa, that looks awesome. Okay. Oh, right. She had that, which is really dumb looking. Okay. I like the little wing boots. Mm -hmm. Even though they're high heels. It's yeah. Okay, so we are going to switch him back to Professor Robo Ride. <laughs> I just think the red matches his hair very well. It just matches him very well. Oh, we got... Huh. That's if you want him to be a very glowing... Full, full ogre mon. Mm -hmm. I don't really know if I'm passionate about that. However... <laughs> Alright. I didn't like that. You really want to push him away from... Oh. Uh, eh, mm. it's a bit much. I just really like the colors on this. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a legitimately cool-looking cyber suit. I'll potentially move away at some point, but, like, it just looks cool. I don't know about the belt. Yeah, the belt looks dumb. I honestly f didn't notice the belt until you just mentioned it, so thank you, but, uh... <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. 
Uh, anywho, at this point, I, I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to probably go do a bunch of those side quests entirely off camera at this point. No, that's understandable. Because at this point, they're just, they're not even interesting. Even the chained ones are kind of just like... Well, part of it is you don't even read the dialogue, so therefore you don't know what, why, and... You don't know the who, what, when, where, and why. And most of, of it is pointless everything. anyway. And it's a lot of just pick up items, kill things, yeah. bring it back. Rinse, repeat. So I'll probably do those off camera. You know, give ourselves a day or something to recuperate because this is a long session. Yes, indeed. 